Good morning YouTube. This video is specifically aimed at HVAC technicians that deal with heat pump systems in the winter time. And it's sort of an opinion piece and a question about my opinion. So I had a two ton heat pump on a property and a two and a half ton heat pump on the same property. And they were both in the crawl space. And I'm thinking that I was wrong on the two and two and a half. Yeah. It was actually a ton and a half and a two ton. And I had just got the repeater probes and the piercing probes for the iConnect. And I'd had, I just got all of my accessories that I bought for it. And I was doing two system heat checks at the same time. And I had posted pictures on Google Plus and a comment talking about how quickly I was able to do the two system check. Uh, between setup and system check, I believe I had like 20 or 30 minutes um, in confirming operation of two systems that were fairly new. But my... My opinion is that the electric heat rise temperature method of measuring CFM is only accurate if your heat strips are sized properly. If you undersize the heat strips, the electric heat rise temperature method does not work. If you oversize, the electric heat rise temperature method doesn't work. So, the way that I design heat pumps and the electric strip size is simply that a five kilowatt heat strip will be sufficient for a ton and a half system and a two ton system. If you put a larger heat strip on a ton and a half system, if you put an 8kW on a ton and a half or an 8kW on a two ton, you will not get a calculation that shows the 600 and 800 CFM that those are nominally, nominally rated to produce. So the, the two systems that I was checking, the ton and a half had a 5kW and the two ton had an 8kW. And the ton and a half did the calculation I'm pretty sure I've got the numbers recorded somewhere, but I'm not going to dig them up to, you know, show them to you. Um, the ton and a half, 5kW, showed right around 600 CFM airflow on the medium speed, I believe it was. It was a three-speed um, split capacitor motor. The two ton on an 8kW had such a significant temperature rise that the airflow calculation came out at like three or 400 CFM on medium speed uh, because it had a much higher temperature rise that offset the watts that are produced when you do your volts and amps calculation. 
And this was all done pre-profiling of heat pumps on the iManifold application. So I was making manual calculations based on the temperatures that I was taking with the iConnect and the manual input of volts. And wanted to get your guys' opinions or thoughts on sizing heat strips and confirmation or rebuttal of my method of 8kW not being used until you get to two and a half tons. Um, it's kind of interesting because if you go 5kW for a ton and a half and two ton, you might think that 8kW on two and a half and three ton would be sufficient, but the way that I've seen it is that two and a half takes 8kW, and when you hit three ton, you go all the way up to 10kW, and then, you know, ultimately, if you were going to go three and a half, you could use a 10k on three and a half, and then I don't recall specifically whether 10kW calculates very well on four and five ton systems. Um, very seldomly in this part of the country, North Carolina, do you see a 15kW system. Um, I did see one the other day on a five ton and my electric heat temperature rise calculation on that system actually said that on a five ton system with a 15 kW heat strip, I was only moving I think it was only moving like 1400 CFM or something. These are the numbers on that system. Obviously I was wrong. We were actually moving 1772 CFM. It was kind of crazy. Um, and I was, you know, following the standard procedure for air probe placement. I was in the duct, but, you know, down the trunk line, out of line of sight of the electric heat strips. And um, I believe it said I only had 14 kW or 1400 CFM or roughly in that vicinity. Um, so, yeah. What do you think of my method of sizing heat strips for tonnage? And is there a piece of information that would actually dictate size of heat strips per tonnage um, that you are aware of? Anybody in North Carolina would be appreciated to give commentary so that I'm actually getting info from the same part of the world. Um, but I'd very much welcome comments from anybody that uses electric strips on heat pump systems. And I think uh, Mr. Joe Shearer may actually have um, a very good opinion that I would be interested in hearing on this as well. So thanks for watching. It was just on my head as I was driving to work this morning at 6 30 and so i wanted to get it out before i lost track of my thoughts and that's why the video is crap so thanks for watching like subscribe comment and share and we will see you on the next one